Beginning by the name of Allah who is the most merciful and kind. This is a smart tool from British Institute. This channel is based on knowledge. You are kindly requested to like, share and subscribe our channel. Thank you. Pliers A small tool made of two crossed pieces of metal, used to hold small things or to bend and cut wire. Pass me that pliers, please. Hammer A hammer is a tool that consists of a heavy piece of metal at the end of a handle. It is used, for example, to hit nails into a piece of wood or a wall, or to break things into pieces. I used a hammer and chisel to chip away at the wall. Screwdriver A screwdriver is a tool that is used for turning screws. It consists of a metal rod with a flat or cross-shaped end that fits into the top of the screw. Do you need a screwdriver for fixing the CPU? Drill A rotating tool that is inserted into a drilling machine or tool for boring cylindrical holes. We usually use a drill for making holes in the walls. Cordless drill A cordless drill design doesn't need to be tethered to a power socket when in action. A cordless drill is an automatic machine and more powerful than a drill. Mallet A mallet is a wooden hammer with a square head. The speaker Mallet wisely decided to postpone his ruling until December 28th. Gimlet A small hand tool consisting of a pointed spiral tip attached at right angles to a handle, used for boring small holes in wood. The gimlet bit cuts the side of the hole. Wrench A wrench or a monkey wrench is an adjustable metal tool used for tightening or loosening metal nuts of different sizes. A normal hydrant could be opened with any kind of wrench. Pipe wrench Any of several types of wrench, including the Stilson wrench, used to grip and turn pipes and other cylindrical objects. The pipe wrench, another name for the pipe wrench is Stilson wrench. Brace 
a hand tool for drilling holes, with a socket to hold the drill at one end and a cranked handle by which the tool can be turned in full, hand brace. It's difficult to see brace in a sentence. Needle nose pliers. Pliers with long slender jaws used for grasping small or thin objects. Can you hold the key with needle nose pliers? Lineman's pliers. Pliers with reinforced pincers and insulated handles, used by electricians in working with cable and other heavy wires. Lineman's pliers is used by only an electrician. Hand saw. A small tool for cutting wood, which has a flat metal blade with a lot of sharp V-shaped teeth. Use a hand saw or saber saw to complete the cuts. Back saw. A small hand saw stiffened along its upper edge by a metal section. Use the back saw to remove the corners on the bottom piece. Coping saw. A coping saw with a very narrow blade and a frame that has the shape of a D, used for cutting curves in wood. A coping saw is used for horizontal cutting or vertical cutting. Crowbar a crowbar is a heavy iron bar which is used as a lever. The wall vanished for a while until returning to crowbar. Chisel a chisel is a tool that has a long metal blade with a sharp edge at the end. It is used for cutting and shaping wood and stone. You should cut between the holes with a cold chisel and hammer. File a hand tool consisting essentially of a steel blade with small cutting teeth on some or all of its faces. It is used for shaping or smoothing metal, wood, etc. You will also need a few files to smooth sharp edges. Float a small hand tool with a rectangular blade used for floating plaster, etc. It's difficult to see float in a sentence. Glass cutter a tool for cutting glass.
My father is a glass cutter who owns a small glass factory too. Paint roller A roller of absorbent material, mounted on a handle, that is rolled in a trough of paint and then over the surface to be painted. Homeowners do not using paint rollers to get desired results. Pickaxe A pickaxe is a large tool consisting of a curved, pointed piece of metal with a long handle attached to the middle. Pickaxes are used for breaking up rocks or the ground. He pried it out of the ground with a quick sweep of a pickaxe. Pincers A gripping tool consisting of two hinged arms with handles at one end and, at the other, curved beveled jaws that close on the workpiece, used ESP for extracting nails. You need a pincers for extracting these nails. Putty knife A spatula used to mix or, or apply putty. It's easier to do the job with a putty knife. Axe An axe is a tool used for cutting wood. It consists of a heavy metal blade which is sharp at one edge and attached by its other edge to the end of a long handle. Only two tools are required, the axe and the sickle. Brick hammer A steel tool, one end of which has a flat square surface used as a hammer, for breaking bricks, driving nails, etc. Brick hammer is used by the mason. Cold chisel Narrow chisel made of steel, used to cut stone or bricks. Use a cold chisel to clear the way for new mortar. Tester A tester is a machine or device that you use to test whether another machine or device is working properly. I have a battery tester in my garage. Ladder A ladder is a piece of equipment used for climbing up something or down from something. It consists of two long pieces of wood, metal, or rope with steps fixed between them. We don't have a tall enough ladder. Level A geodetic instrument used for measurement of the elevation of points on the Earth's surface, leveling, and for establishing horizontality during erection and installation operations. Do you have a level? I need for a moment.
Tape Measure A tape measure or a measuring tape is a strip of metal, plastic, or cloth with marks on it, used for measuring, especially for clothes and DIY. Another name for tape measure is a measuring tape. Enjoy your lesson. Thank you very much. Do not forget subscribing and sharing British Institute on YouTube. It is all for you.